All right, we're here with Wasser Royals wide receiver, Alpha Jallo. Alpha, welcome to the podcast, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you on. Uh, you guys uh, probably had the most exciting game of the week on Saturday, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. A lot of ups and downs, but we finished it. Yeah, we're just going to ask you a couple questions about that game before we start looking on to the, the upcoming game. Uh, Q, what did you have for that, man? Um, in the game, uh, you didn't get a lot of receiving um, uh, catches or whatever, but uh, everybody knows your presence on the field. Uh, you have to pay attention to you. Um, why do you feel like people take the chances of kicking you the ball on, on returns, though? Uh, I asked uh, Miko. I, I talked to Miko after the game, and he was like, man, I don't know why I kicked it to you. Because I didn't <laughs> think that they would. Because I know last year we played against them, they were just pooching it. and. The one just bounced right towards me. I was like, man, I got to take a shot. I missed one. So I had to do what was best for the team. Yeah. That's craziness. My my question is, in this game, you guys were – you were down 28-7. to seven. What was it like on the sidelines, in the huddles, when you guys were down by three touchdowns? And it looked like you weren't really going to get anything going. So what was it like on the Royal sideline during that? I mean, honestly, we did stay positive. I didn't, I didn't see too many people going, putting their heads down and things like that. We just knew that we could execute because we knew we came in with a very, very simple game plan that we wanted to utilize. And just small things weren't going our way. Then the stuff like me dropping a punt or, you know, a couple pass plays and a little bit of poor officiation. Uh, just didn't go our way, and we just knew that we had to turn it around, and we knew that if we stop them on offense, we can just do the simple stuff and be explosive and be that team that we know that we should be. So we just kept that in mind, and the coaches, they were encouraging us, and it happens to play out the way that we wanted to. You have another question for him, Q? Yeah, um, we see that you got, you know, Coach John Booker, and uh, Coach Stacy. Stacy's obviously been around Finland for a long time, pretty much as long as I was around uh, Finnish football. But having those type of coaches uh, on the roster, uh, how, how does that make you feel? I mean, I know you played in some other countries, but having those type of American coaches on the sideline, does it bring – or does it make you feel like more at home uh, when you yeah. have coaches on the sideline like that? Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, I'll say two things, I guess. You know, you know having – you know, Stacy around, you know, he brings that excitement, bring the encouragement that you would get uh, just the same way that you would have if you was in America. And he, you know, has a high standard for the guys. And he treat them the same way if, if a guy is uh, not playing his best and he's a starter, he, he'll put somebody else in. If it's an import that's not doing it, getting it done, he'll put that finished guy back in. And, uh, I mean, we appreciate that. Then going towards offense, you know, Booker, you know, he has a lot of, he knows how to keep things simple too, so he does a good job of just breaking it down and making it making you not think as much. So uh, I mean, it's good to have them both around because you know it brings an American feel and it shows the guys the uh, American influence that they should have and should influence uh, their character on the field. Gotcha. Yep, so that's enough of that whole what happened last week. You know, it's over. We're moving on. We quick moving out here in Finland. Next week, y'all got the Helsinki Wolverines. They just beat a, a very bad team, but they looked good. They looked really good pretty much most of the game. You guys look good in the second half of your game. What are you what are you most excited about in this matchup? What what do you think is something that's gonna be exciting for the fans, even for the players to see between these two teams? I mean, I'm excited to compete. You know, they did. I wouldn't say that the, the Crocodiles are a bad team. I think they just. I, 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 I'll leave you to that. I'll leave you to that. I'm going to just leave that. <laughs> but the Wolverines on paper, I think they are on paper the best team uh, in Finland. Uh, but so I'm excited to compete against them. You know, we got uh, our guys begin prepared, and we know that we left a lot of uh, eggs on the field, and we're going to do our best to you know, uh, clean up our mistakes and compete. So, I mean, with that being said, I mean, the best thing that I think we got going for us is that, nah, 
I mean, I I want to say something different, but I mean, I think the best thing we got going for us is that we're going to just clean up our mistakes and we're going to compete. You know, we're going to show that that first half is not us Mm -hmm. and we're going to play like that second half team that everyone saw. Because I know you said you fell asleep on the first half. and. Oh not, man! Not, okay, yeah, yeah, he called me. I, I I fell asleep on the first half. I did like right before the end of the second quarter. I fell asleep. Next thing I knew, it was halftime, and I was like, "Whew, good." It was getting boring. <laughs> it was getting boring. But yeah, we definitely hope to see that second half team more often, especially this week. Q, did you have something for him? Um, will you be playing a lot more defense this uh this weekend? Um, because obviously, uh, the Wolverines have one of the fastest uh, receivers in Europe on their team. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty Who's sure. Who's that? Uh, Sebastian. <laughs> I, I want to I throw this out Who? there. I wanna, Who's that? Wow. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to I throw this out there. Sebastian is fast, but Cedric Johnson is also fast. Like I feel like yeah. people sleep on Cedric because he's not really like on the internet and stuff, and you don't see him a lot. But he's fast as hell. And then you got Sebastian, who's probably just as fast and a little bit taller, a little bit bigger of a receiver. But both of them on the outside is a lot of speed, a lot yeah. of speed going on on both sides. And that was that was my point. That was my point. Like you, like they're gonna need your speed on defense. So, uh, will, are you planning on playing a lot more defense um, against them? Yeah. I mean, Stacey is going to come up with a good plan with whoever's on the field. Uh, if, he, if he does decide, you know, to throw that in because we're working on the game plan. I mean, they are working on the game plan. So if they do decide to put me in there, I mean, I'll do his best. Yeah, Sebastian, he's a good athlete. Uh, Cedric is a great athlete. And even, I don't know, Force looks like the fastest guy on the field on their offense, to be honest. But, uh, you know, if they decide to put me in the field, you know, I'll do his best for the team. Uh, but right now, I think, you know, we just got to be explosive on offense and hold them to a few stops. And I think we'd be victorious, I guess so, honestly. All right. Well, that, that's all we got for you uh, this week, uh, Alpha. We appreciate you coming on the podcast, man. And and wish – well, congratulations for last week. And we wish you guys the best luck this week going up against the Wolverines. Uh, yep. Sleep, don't, sleep us on, don't sleep on us anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I, we picked it all the win. Did we, we, everybody picked, <laughs> we all picked all the win. We all picked all the win. All the win. Hey, hey, much love. We appreciate y'all. Hey, <laughs> hey, first of all, all the, the the Royals out there, hey, I'm the only person that picked y'all to make the playoffs. Just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect purpose picked you in the playoffs. So make me right, but, bro. Make but me right. But when we picked, when we picked, we didn't know he signed. Yeah, like, we didn't know. If, yeah, if you would have if you would have been on the roster then, then I would have already been like, Yeah, I put them at third or fourth, you know what I mean? But we didn't know you signed. So uh I knew Seppo was gonna come out with something something sneaky at the end though. And we, yeah, I, 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 know why, I called it. I called it though. Yeah, like, you did. You that. did. I called that he was probably gonna sign you. I was like, nobody signed Alpha yet. I know somebody got to. So uh I was right, but yeah, it was you know, yeah. we watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just prove me right. Y'all just keep playing good. That's what we need. I, I promise you we will. <laughs>